welcome to another edition of Willis Garage. So, today I'm uh, going to tell you about uh, a new project. My plan is to build uh, a CNC machine. Uh, you can do a lot with a CNC machine, so uh, that's why I want to build it. Here you are on my computer and I will uh, just show you what started this process. So, I thought about this for a long time, uh, the CNC project. So, uh, I've been looking around uh, on the web pages to get some parts, cheap parts, of course. Uh, so, uh, a couple of days ago, I came over this. Um, here it is. It was a DIY uh, CNC machine from another person here uh, in Moss, in Norway. So I bought this uh, DIY CNC machine, uh, not uh, because of the machine itself, but uh, because of the engines here. Uh, and maybe some of the, the spindle uh, holder here and uh, some of the other parts, the motor motor mounts and stuff like that and the cables yeah so this is a nice uh, start starting point uh, I have um, already taken off the engines just to get them uh, inside my apartment so I can start testing with them when I bought this uh, used DIY CNC machine, uh, there was no electronics except for the engines. I also bought some other parts from uh, from the man that I bought this machines from. Uh, I will show you the engines. Here we have one of them. It's a long stepper motor uh, from longsmotor.com. It's uh, 1.8 degree per step engine uh, 2.5 amperes and this will be more than enough to drive the small CNC machine I'm planning to build an, an office desktop uh, CNC machine uh, of sorts first I just have to hook everything up and make everything run on the computer just as a proof of concept so that's my plan at first we have one stepper motor Here's the other, uh, it's the same uh, brand. Okay, here you can see the motor mounts. Uh, I haven't taken this off yet. So here we have two stepper motors. And the third one uh, came off another project. The, the man I bought this from uh, had. So this engine looks like it's uh, no uh, typical brand. It's a generic stepper motor probably for, from China, so uh, yeah. So here we have the three stepper motors. They are for the X, Y and C axis. I don't know if uh, this is the configuration for the engines, as I can see this engine is uh, a little bit smaller than the other two so uh, I will have to figure out where to use the engines but uh, I think this is going on the c-axis moving the spindle up and down as you know I'm new to this I'm new to almost everything I do I figure it out while I go and uh, I watch YouTube videos and I educate myself so what I need to control these stepper motors uh, is something called a CNC shield uh, at least for the Arduino so I have already gone on eBay and uh, bought uh, the, this CNC shield uh, with an Arduino you know R3 and the USB cable of course here you have the uh, Arduino you know and the CNC shield and the engine uh, stepper motor controllers here 
This is built for four axes, but I'm only going to use three of them. Uh, and uh, one uh, of them I can use for something else. Maybe the spindle start and stop or something like that. At least that's the plan. So I already bought this. Uh, it's uh, in the mail. Probably taking a couple of weeks before I get this. So the plan with this series uh, is for me to film uh, when I'm uh, hooking these things up and figuring out the Arduino and, and the CNC shield, what kind of software I want to use and how I'll set up uh, the configurations. I have to get this uh, sorted before I can even think about building a CNC machine. As I mentioned, I also bought some other parts from uh, this guy who had this DIY CNC machine. I bought, uh, I also bought the spindle. This is a cheap spindle from China, but uh, it's okay for a small CNC machine. I think this is a 12 volt spindle and with it came uh, different sizes and stuff on the... I don't know what you call this, but three different sizes came, came with the spindle. I also got uh, this uh, power outlet, uh, both stepper motors and uh, the spindle. And the on-off switch with the spindle uh, speed regulator here. The man I bought this from has built had built this box on his the CNC machine I bought. This box is uh, carved by that CNC machine, so that's quite cool. Here I have the motor speed controller for the spindle uh, and the voltage regulator for uh, the stepper motors. This is uh, quite nice. I got all this uh, quite cheap from the guy. And I'm thankful and grateful. So if you're watching this, uh, thank you. Thank you very much. So yeah, that was it for the intro of this uh, CNC machine uh, series. So if you're thinking about building a CNC or just want to learn about uh, controlling the stepper motors and stuff like that, uh, just keep watching uh, and I will post videos uh, along as I learn about this and uh, yeah and you will see the progress together with me <laughs> if you like please subscribe and you, you will get more videos like this maybe not this amateurish but uh, this is what I made right now so I hope you enjoy uh, I'll see you later alligator <laughs>